Not only did they let me in the grain cart, but they let me unload on the go. They must trust me. But I'm, I'm glad that I'm not one of those kinks. No, <laughs> sometimes it's self-inflicted some of the causes. Our lentil crop has already been delivered to Saskatoon. Can That's... I high five that? <laughs> high five! <laughs> Wow, and you got something in your teeth. Do I? <laughs> no, I don't. Do I? I'm kidding. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, for, uh, What's really nice is uh, Willa likes combining too, so she'll be my partner. Now we got to hit the rabbit here. Full bunny. Full bunny. Yeah. Push. Everyone seems to like this when I make it, and it's wrapped in bacon. So even better. You can't really screw it up either. Oh, see, not a very good griller. They'll be okay. They'll still eat it. Willa. Me and Willa are playing games against each other. Oh, no, I got her whining, I guess. <laughs> My traveling partner. Well, it's a nice hot day today. Great day to be in the AC on the grain cart. Back to doing lentils. It's the new grain cart. It's a 1300 bushel Brent. Pretty slick. It's got the agromatics on it. Scale. So it's all done by the lap or the uh, iPod, iPad. I'm not used to Apple, sorry. I'll just get to the uh, show you here. So that's the screen there, and we'll give you a little bit of a rundown when I'm unloading it into the semi. Pretty slick. Not only did they let me in the grain cart, but they let me unload on the go. They must trust me. That or they're pretty hard up. Okay, I'm all lined up to the semi. So all you do, unload empty cart, turn your PTO on, open up your slide. One thing I really like about this one is you can move the turret side to side, but you can also move it in and out. So half blind guys like me can still hit the middle of the truck without smashing into the truck or being too far away. And you always make sure your gates are closed because I've probably done that six times notice when it's too late and there's probably 30 or 20 bushels of wheat or lentils or canola on the ground spread all over and it always happens beside a uh, main road too people everyone can see it yeah, oh there's oh come on on the radio ah uh, you betcha so we are combining wheat. I just brought out supper for the crew and I'm now catching a ride, Copeland and I. Oh, and and Willa. Good, good job. But so we've been harvesting for, oh, about a week now, right Matt? Yeah, about that. About a week and Copeland's getting a combine lesson. Okay. So with uh, every harvest we start with lentils and it's a great opportunity for us because what, we only run one or two combines. And then we shut down early because the uh, the plant gets spindly. But uh, we had a few kinks this year. <laughs> right, Matt? A few kinks, is that what you would say? Yeah, we have had a few little kinks, but it's that's why we start off with lentils. We get the kinks worked out before we really have to go hard. So um, we actually think it's good that we had three combines this year. Um, because yeah, we only had two last year, right? We only had two, but we upgraded it, and our our third straight cut header uh, wasn't available. Uh, the dealer couldn't get it out to us, which was fine. So we just took our time and 
And like I said, I got all the kinks worked out all the combines, being that we bought a different one, so there's always little hurdles you gotta go through to get them into the field, so, but we're working through them. But I'm, I'm glad that I'm not one of those kinks. No, <laughs> sometimes it's self-inflicted some of the causes, but that's just life. It, things happen, right? So I wouldn't use the other word that usually yeah, comes in front of the happens, right? Yes. So. So it seems that we are, based from previous years, we are ahead of schedule. Like I don't remember being this far along. Like are we early? It's been hot too, really, really hot. Yeah, we're, and prob dry. we're probably three weeks ahead of schedule. Really? That much? Yeah, two Holy. and a half, three weeks ahead of schedule. Normally we wouldn't be starting on wheat. We would probably, the kids are usually back in school by the time we really get building momentum. Our lentils were kind of on par for the regular start date of, uh, you know, August 17, 15, 16th, something like that, just depends, but yeah, uh, we're probably, yeah, two and a half weeks ahead of schedule, so. Uh, so one of the other reasons here, too, why we're going on wheat that's maybe isn't totally would be binned, uh, it is on a, we have some Garnet has gotten us some higher moisture contracts. Oh, so we're not putting this, this doesn't go to the bin. This is going into our bins. Okay. And then is being shipped in the next, well, uh, two, three days, and then next week. Uh, I don't know how many bushels. Derek does the the trucking or manages the, the logistics end and of the crop. Where it is, where is it being shipped to? Where does it's it go? It's actually going to Cargill. Cargill, okay. Cargill Green in just outside of Saskatoon. No. It's going our, there. And then our canola, as soon as we get going on it, we have some early delivery contracts because we don't have enough bin storage. Right. We only have roughly about a half of our bin storage. So we do do green bags and different things, but uh, with Garnet's marketing and relying on him and Derek, uh, Derek's starting to do more of the marketing. Yeah. They've got it kind of, well, they have organized this and this is kind of how it how it goes usually right off the bat so we send grain away right away so and where where do our lentils go our lentils have been contracted with viterra out of uh, saskatoon i think is where they're going and i would say roughly a little over half of our our lentil crop has already been delivered to saskatoon and yeah can i high five that high five <laughs> Yeah, so it's worked out pretty good, so. The sun is bright. Okay, so you told me. Oh, me. I'm having a moment. Here. You you told me, Matt, that uh, I've graduated. I've gone from running the grain cart. We have a very good grain cart driver, Robbie. Uh, I've gone from grain cart to now I get to run a combine. Yeah. Yeah. The sun so is bright. You'll start. Uh, and you got something in your teeth. Do I? <laughs> no, I don't. Do I? I'm kidding. Oh, you're kidding. Uh, for, uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, when we start to pick up swaths of wheat, you're going to have the chance to run a combine. And I think Robbie's going to get a chance to run a combine too. Woohoo! Keith will be in the 670. And yeah, he'll probably run this one. So, And we'll be grain bagging at that time too. So it just gives everybody a bit of a change from their regular roles and yeah. responsibilities so it's kind of nice to mix it up so. yay looking forward to it it's nice being out here it is what's really nice is uh willa likes combining too so she'll be my partner she likes to sit in the captain's chair or the pastures she go to sleep she doesn't necessarily like sitting on the floor but she makes do copeland's tired having some dad time. He hasn't had dad time in a while. Hey, Willa. Hard. Okay. And then we flip this. Flip this switch up. Push down and up. Down and then up. Yeah. Push down and then up. That engages everything. Now we got to hit the rabbit here. Push hard. 
Full bunny. Full bunny. Okay, and then we push this down, and then forward turns the header on. You gotta use two fingers. Pinch it like Dad does. Yeah. Push. Yeah, you gotta go forward with it. Down and up. Oh, there we go. Here we go. running late so we're gonna go back into town I have to clean up all the dishes we're heading to Regina tomorrow for death disappointment and uh, dentist de appointment. what did they say I don't, I don't know, know what I said uh, de dentist appointments and uh, I don't know if any of the boys have enough stamina to, to stay up till midnight yes I think we're gonna go watch me go to bed early Tonight, I don't know how many people I'm cooking for, but I'm gonna guess seven guys plus the kids and I. So I'm making a really easy recipe. So my philosophy is like five ingredients or under and really easy, especially at harvest time when you're cooking for so many people. So I'm making um, my famous, well, it's not really, I wouldn't say famous, but uh, everyone seems to like this when I make it and it's wrapped in bacon. So even better, you can't really screw it up either. So it's uh, chicken, chicken breasts, I've already have them. And then lots of bacon. So I have, uh, this is one package, I have another package. And then I use garlic powder on it, salt and pepper, chili powder, onion powder, wrap it in bacon, and then you throw brown sugar on it, barbecue it, and it's done. So it uh, only takes me maybe, well cook time half an hour, uh, prep time maybe 15 minutes, that's it. And I think tonight, because it's super cold, I'm not gonna put everything in individual packages. I'm just going to take out the chicken and then I'm gonna cook potatoes. I have a salad already pre-made, or that one that I bought, because that's how I roll. And then I might just throw together a spinach salad. So easy peasy. Okay, so first I'm gonna prep the chicken. So it's already cut. I used fresh chicken versus the frozen chicken breast. Frozen chicken breast, seem when you cook them, they shrivel up. I feel like I, the shirt, should have another shirt that says coffee, chicken, and mental health. Because I, well, I love cows, but I also love chicken. Okay, so first, um, salt and pepper. I don't put a huge amount of salt on because the bacon already has lots of salt. And pepper. And I'll do this twice, because I'll do this and then I'll flip them. So pepper. Uh, I don't have garlic powder, but I've been using this from Costco. It's Johnny's garlic spread. It's so good. You can put it on everything and there's uh, recipes um, that you can make things with like uh, garlic butter shrimp. Oh, it's so good. And then I put some onion powder on it. So it's a, like, this is a sweet, uh, sweet and spicy chicken. It almost seems like when it's done cooking, I uh, cook it on the barbecue, it's uh, with the brown sugar, it almost seems like it's barbecue chicken, but with bacon, which is amazing. So I cook between, uh, and then my mom does uh, a night or two a week. Um, then we get some stuff catered or I buy some stuff. Like yesterday we had pizza. We sent that out to field, that was really good. I don't uh, skimp out on the gar or the chili powder as well. 
that gives it uh, its bite. If you want it to make it a little hotter, you can probably put uh, some cayenne pepper too on it. But because I'm cooking for lots of people that have a variety of uh, tastes, I they can add their heat after. Okay, that's good. Oh, whoops. So that's what the chicken looks like, and now I'm gonna flip it and then do it again. So before sometimes, depending on how much I would have or how many cooking I'm cooking for, I would cut the bacon in half, but uh, we, I try not to do that because uh, that's what makes the chicken so great, is the bacon. So I try to wrap it as good as I can. Sometimes I put uh, two toothpicks in to hold it and then pray to God that no one chokes on toothpick. There. I try to cut the chicken breast evenly. Even, yeah, I'm having troubles today. So they all cook similar, similar, yeah, I can. <laughs> so I'll wash my hands. The chicken is done. Well, kinda, not really, not yet, one more thing. Got the biggest bag of brown sugar. So I'm gonna use it. So I'll let that brown sugar just kinda, kinda melt, dissolve, and then uh, uh, put some more on then it should be good for the barbecue I'll leave this stuff out I'm gonna clean potatoes wrap them in foil and then put them in the oven because I have about uh, it's 340 and I want to normally I try to have the meal cooked by 5 get everything packaged by 515 and then leave leave by yeah 515 so that I'm out in the field by 530 540 those are my goals uh, rarely do I meet them. Sometimes it's six, but at least I give them, it's uh, suppers between 5.30 and six-ish. Okay, as my chicken sits and marinates, I drink the rest of my white claw. And I wrap the bacon, or not the bacon, <laughs> I got bacon on mine. Um, I wrap the potatoes, actually, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but I've always stabbed the potato a couple times, just in case. I don't know why that's supposed to make it, have it, help it breathe, or I really don't know why I do some of the things. But are we having here? I have been bacon wrapped chicken. Yeah. Yummy! I know you like this, and uh, potatoes with cheese on top and a uh, noodle salad you can have it when we go out to the field it's not soup okay i'm gonna throw these in literally throw You should wash your hands now. Go wash your hands or you'll get sick. So while the potatoes are cooking and the chicken is marinating, I made a salad. So spinach salad with mushrooms, cucumbers. I put this salad topper on with nuts and cranberries. And then I'll add croutons when I get out to the field. What do you, what do you need? You want a sock? Oh, one of these pies? I don't know, can you show me what you want? He eats. 
It's a snacker. Mm. Oh, a crouton. Yes. Can I have one? Will you promise to eat your salad if you have a crouton? <laughs> you can have one crouton. It's cold, so I put my bunny hug on. Or kind of a bunny hug. It is a bunny hug. It just, there's no hood. So I don't know. I still call it a bunny hug. I'm going to take the potatoes out, put butter and cheese, and then put these little mini pies in the oven. I hope things aren't on fire. Woohoo! Not really. Then, that's it. Oh, some of them are. Oh, see, not a very good griller. Can't multitask. They'll be okay. They'll still eat it. Just a little, little, <laughs> little bird. We'll turn it, turn it all down. Okay, we'll turn down the middle one. Woo! <laughs> this is not my day for cooking. Well, uh, since everything out there is burnt, we might as well make sure that these potatoes are are rocking, are, are uh, a hit. So I kind of just cut them in the middle. There. Usually I split and then maybe split into fours, like do an X. There, that makes them a little bit more open. Good. Okay. All the butter now. I put in the middle, let it melt, and then the cheese. I think these are done. Well, that's done. But I think, I think they're done. Hey, Colvin, do you think they're done? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're done. I think what so. happened? Well, I hope they be eat them. Why? Well, because it's supper. No, we want them to oh, eat. Oh, the toothpicks. Yeah, we don't want them to eat the toothpick. Oh, the cat died. Yeah. So it, but remember when dad would make you a joke? Yeah, when Robbie and dad made a joke about Robbie eating the toothpick. Yeah, and it did. Uh, just because I'm gonna put a dash of seasoning and salt on them. Not a lot. Just to give it something else. And it looks like they just need more butter. Make sure I take that out. And now the cheese. So I always have to have some. Hmm. Cheesy potatoes. Oh, the pies are burnt. Not burnt, they're just a little toasty. these sit for a few minutes. So chicken was at 140. I'll let it go for a couple more minutes. And then by the time I get, I get out there, because it'll probably cook, when I'm still driving, it should be at 160 and that makes me a little bit more, um, I feel better about 160 degree chicken than 140. I'm, I don't um, have another container for all the chicken because with a lid. So I'm gonna put uh, the chicken in these. These would be a dish that I usually give to them, but it's cold and we're not gonna be eating outside. Okay, those are the potatoes. I think they're pretty good. And then I got the chicken in here. I wrapped them up. It looks pretty good. That's gonna be a little 
a little crispy. The, 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 the bacon is on the crispy side. It's a, it's a good 10, but it smells really good. So I'm gonna get the potatoes packed up and then we're, we'll head out. Our travels out to the field. Someone's breath smells though. Sets I'm trying to get set up. So on the tailgate, took all the chairs out. Plates, knives, forks, two salads, and then I'm still I'm gonna leave the hot stuff in here because they might still be five ten minutes. Do it again. Oh, so much fun. Mm. Just <laughs> 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 <laughs>